Dr. Ikeson, why don't you share with us some of the benefits that you see from a water quality standpoint to the investment of the ARRA dollars? Okay. Well, actually, I see I see two a two prong approach. One is both in terms of water quantity and water quality. Uh, what you see around us is just a, just an inkling of the scouring that's occurring in this historic Hitchcock Woods. This is, we're in Sand River. Um, the water quality standpoint, with the, with the Aiken Green Infrastructure Project, what we will do is we will develop a series of rain gardens and bioswales mm -hmm. so that we will actually capture the water, will allow it to slowly infiltrate. And these are engineered systems, and they're engineered so that we can allow microorganisms mm -hmm. to begin to break down the nutrients, the oils and, and greases, et cetera. So we trap that so that we eliminate a lot of that um, pollution that comes from our parking lots, from our mm -hmm. cars and other things, from coming directly from the stormwater system right down in, in, in the Hitchcock Woods. Uh, the other thing that we have a value is, is the, the way that we treat the quantity of water. Mm -hmm. uh, we can slow down the amount of water that comes down so that we don't have this flashiness. And in doing that, we also lend a period of time where we can have an enhancement mm -hmm. of water quality. Um, but when you have so much water coming down and you have this flashiness and you begin to erode all the sediment, the sediment it itself becomes a pollutant. Mm -hmm. And what happens is it's carried downstream. And those low-lying areas, which are our wetland areas in many cases, and in this case we have some beautiful forested wetlands, are now being choked by the sediment that's being transported. So from a water quality standpoint, if we can stabilize those wetlands, enhance those wetlands, the water that does pass right. through here will receive that treatment that we know wetlands provide. Right. You know, Jim, we're excited about this project because it is a green infrastructure project. What do you have to think about from the state's perspective? Well, we're excited from a standpoint of being green and doing something different. Uh, we're excited that it's basically going to fix some problems or some issues we're seeing here from a water quality standpoint. But as was just said, some of the issues that are going on is that sediment that was here is also being mm -hmm. moved further and down. Right. So it's, not, it's impacting not only this area, but other areas, uh, right. particularly Savannah River that we're dealing with. Right. One of the things that we are, you know, uh, the recovery dollars is about its creation of jobs. Can you talk a little bit about what opportunities this project is going to avail itself to? Sure. We, we're really fortunate when uh, we designed the project and it will be in the downtown area in a series of parkways. Uh, when we went out for bids, the low bids were all from our local contractors in the community. Mm -hmm. And so we have about 25 people that will be working intensively for months on end on this project. Uh, and these are local people that otherwise would not mm -hmm. have had work in mm -hmm. the construction industry, and now they're, they're, they're busy doing great. this green infrastructure program. That's great. That's great, and that's what recovery is all about. Yeah. And it's about strong partnerships, so I'm glad to be here with you guys today with the city of Aiken, who's been a great host today, Clemson University, the state of South Carolina, and all the other partners. I think we're, we're off to a great beginning, and we're going to continue to work with you guys and to leverage resources and to move toward the future. So that's thanks. great. Thank you. That's good.